In this short video, I'll be showing you how to create an IFC export that will export out the geometry and data associated with that geometry. To get started, we're going to come over here to General Configuration. We're going to come down to Smart IFC Export Configuration. The Smart IFC Export dialog box comes up. So the first thing we need to do is choose your IFC version. So we can either do a two times three or four. So I'm gonna do a two times three in this situation. Then I'm gonna click on new here. We're gonna call this IFC uh, geometry and data. And I'm gonna click on save. Now what we need to do is we're gonna click on shared properties. And I wanna get the properties of the items that I wanna export out. So you need to have something select in the background. So I'm going to grab a few items here. I wouldn't recommend grabbing everything. Just grab a few items with some properties. Once I have those items selected, I'm going to click on Get NW Props. So this is going to load all the Navisworks properties. And I'm going to go OK. And here you can see all the properties of the items I had selected in the background. And I can expand out this CAD works here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drag in CAD works on to the middle. And this is now going to load all those properties. So you can grab any property and grab one at a time. Just drag it over. Um, I can also associate that to an IFC element here. So like I might have an IFC name. I'm going to say, well, take the name that's out of CAD works and drag that and drop it here. So now you can see IFC name. It says CAD works name. The description, I'm going to do the same thing. And then I also have a tag here. So you can go down and you can add any of these properties. So, you know, I also have weight here. So I might want to grab the weight in this situation. And I have a length. I can drag in the length here. Now, this is only if it's required. You can just drag across the properties and they will come with the IFC file. Now I'm going to click on save and I'm going to exit this. And now you'll see I have a smart IFC export and underneath there I've got IFC geometry and data. This concludes this short video on exporting an IFC with geometry and data.